Hello guys and welcome back to Budget Tech Bros. And today we are showing you the GoPro Hero Plus LCD unboxing. We paid $200 for this. Let's get started. You're going to want to take your tabs off the top here. It's much easier to take these tabs off. Go to the back here on the little window port and you can see the back of your GoPro. So that's pretty much what it does look like. This is with the LCD, by the way, guys. Um, you can see that my SD card is already in there. Yours will not come with an SD card already in there because mine is used. And I bought it brand new, but I used it, okay? So we can go to the front now. We can look at the design on this box here. It says Hero Plus LCD, obviously. And Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth control view share. Eight megapixels, five frames per, per second burst and it shoots up to 1080 60 frames per second so that's pretty dang good and it has a built-in touch display um, you can also see that it says right here right below my thumb waterproof up to 131 feet which is 40 meters you can see what's included we have the hero plus LCD camera which is this thing right over here um, it comes with the built-in touch display and battery that's already inside. It's not like the hero, the other hero versions, where they have the um, the optional battery pack and the optional Wi-Fi backpack. Um, now we have two different, um, three different back doors. My bad, guys. Um, so we have what's called the skeleton back door, touch back door, um, and I will show you those. And then we also can see that it comes with a curved adhesive mount, a flat adhesive mount, mounting buckle, and micro USB cable. As you can see, um, the SD piece is not in there right now. It is 32 gigabytes. It works very fast. It's beautifully working for the GoPro. I found this on the GoPro rack um, when I went to Target. Um, so it should be there in your guys' local Target as well. Here is what it comes with. It comes with the Lexar adapter, which you can simply, let me pull this out for you guys. So we can see that this comes with the adapter right here. Um, you just plug your micro SD card right in there and then you plug it straight into your computer like a regular SD card. This is the micro SD adapter. So we're gonna take this, nice little thumb ports and hand port. Just kinda throw it on there. They got a little plastic tab there to hold both of them together just in case you need to close them up again. Me personally, I like to keep all my boxes for anything over $100. That way I can return them if I need to. I like to keep them in crisp condition. That will help out with the returning. Okay? That we have absolutely no problems with the returning. So here it comes with a little bit more than what it says on the side of the box. It comes with three GoPro stickers. Right now there's only two because I've used one to put on my GoPro backpack that I made. Of course, your directions, whatever, you don't really need those. Um, quick start guide, it may help out. It basically tells you what's on the side of the box and how to start it up. We have the actual GoPro, and then you'll see that this slotted tab here, it pulls right up. Oh, bang, what's that? We got a little safety security piece in there, and everything that comes with the GoPro, just nicely thrown in there. Here is your curved and flat adhesives. I don't have anything to really put them on. Um, maybe for future videos, I'll use it. We have your touchscreen back door. I like to keep mine in the plastic, that way it keeps it safe. I've never used a touchscreen back door. Um, maybe in later videos, I will possibly use it. Wow. This will help out. Really, you don't want to use it in water. You can use it in splash areas. Do not use it underwater though. Do not submerge it in here. We have our skeleton back door which is completely wide and open for the mic accessory. That is where all your ports can be plugged in. Your SD card cannot be taken out or messed with because this right here is covering. Anything else in there, it should come with a, yours should come with a, uh, a USB to charge and plug it in. Now, as you can see, we have another mount here. We have the uh, buckle mount. This can be used for those adhesive mounts. Um, it can also be used for any other aftermarket mounts that you buy, either from GoPro or whoever else you want to buy it from. Here's the actual GoPro. We're going to get this out of the way. There we go. 
So, our micro SDs, you're gonna take that out. All you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the camera's turned off because you don't wanna corrupt any files. You hold it in until it stops blinking and the battery is dead now. Okay. So, we go ahead and open this up, the back door, and you just get your little fingernail in there or something tight enough to get in there and pop it and it has a spring motion. So, it literally just pops right out and you can pull it out. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching Budget Tech Bros. That is pretty much it for this whole video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, like, and everything. Thanks again guys. Have a good day.